With Uber Reserve, you can book your Uber ride in advance, 90 days in advance. Perfect for all you forward thinkers and planning gurus. Reserve your Uber ride up to 90 days in advance. Uber Reserve. See Uber app for details. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. In today's episode, so overall, I wanted to talk on people getting um, too offended. Um, yeah, it, it's it's one of those things where I'm like, if I crack a joke, then I got people like you know looking at me like, oh, like they giving me a whole history lesson, pretty much. And here's the thing, like. I understand if your sense of humor is different from my sense of humor. That makes sense. Everybody's sense of humor is different. There's been times, there's been times where people have told me jokes and there's been times where I've heard jokes that's so dark where I'm like, bruh, I don't even know how people can even crack jokes like that. Like there's at times when I'm watching Family Guy because Family Guy is like one of my favorite shows to watch. So there's at times like where they even they will crack jokes and I'm like, okay, now that that that's going too far. <laughs> like, but here's the thing though, I'm like, I'm not gonna go into a whole history lesson about it though. You know, like that's their sense of humor. And that's the one thing, like, as I get older, like when I hear people, there's the one comedian, uh, Pete Davidson, where he uh he talks on like he he's okay with like people cracking well, I don't know about everybody, but there was a time that I think was I in Vegas when that had happened? I can't remember where I was at when I was watching that. But I remember he was doing, it was like a roasting show and he was on there. And the guy had cracked the joke about Pete Davidson's father. Now, for those that don't know Pete Davidson's father's situation, his um, dad passed away during the 9-11 attackings. His uh, father was a fireman. And then even it was like years later, um, Pete Davidson, or I mean, well, like, well, not years later, but it was like sometime um, after that. Pete Davidson ended up buying Kevin Hart's uh, YouTube channel. And when he was on his YouTube channel, he was just like, oh, you guys have a father. How's that? And he even cracks jokes. And so I'm like, there are people is just like high tolerance of like dark humor and dark jokes and all of that. Like other people is going to be different from it. And it, it's just with me. I'm like, when people, when they're just getting too offended with me, I'm like, hey, yo, look, like, and then that's the thing, though, because it was it was just recently where I had a friend, they got on me about a post that I shared. And I guess it was about, like, uh, it, it was overall, I, I don't even know, like, I ain't trying to, like, say, like, the wrong thing or, you know, make a, like, say a name and a name and the, you know, group of people that's saying that. But I'm just going to say it's a group of people that um it, it's it's one of those like genderless groups of people i'm not gonna say any names because i'm like i'm not too clear on you know which name is you know supposed to like be in the sentence and stuff but anyways um uh, but there is a post that was uh like uh um something about like people wanting to call like parents um birthing people and i found it funny i was all like hey yo like that's funny like that's something that i would like to test out on my mom to just see how she would react and i brought it up to my mom now here's the thing my mom she's like she's a down south person you know like my mom was um she was like came from that era where it was like you know overall like you ain't gonna be looking your parent in the face calling them birthing person so that's why I was like, I was just cracking a joke about it. And it was like, and the funny thing about it, it wasn't even like it was something that I went out of my way to search for. It was a friend of mine. I don't know if it's like a mutual friend, if they're friends with each other on social media, but it was a friend of mine that shared it. I found it funny. So I reposted it. And yeah, it was a problem that I reposted it. But that ain't even the only time where I've offended um, this person. It was another time. And I'm like, I, I just get to the point where I'm like, man, like, I look, there are going to be jokes that people crack. And then they said something about, like, um, about, like, it, like, well, they were trying to compare, like, the black, um, like, black history with, like, the LGBTQ community. And I was like, I really wanted to say something, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna hold my tongue. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna just let you know this right now. Black history is black history. The LGBTQ community is the LGBTQ community. There ain't no comparison, period. 
okay? So that's why I was like, when they tried to get on me about that, then was all like, you claim to know about black history. I'm like, what is black history? And I'm like, I already know that this is going to lead into an argument. So I'm like, I'm not even going to respond. I'm just going to take the post down and go about my day. But it's that type of stuff where I'm like, hey, yo, I can post about me being depressed or post about, hey, support my YouTube channel and post about all these other different things. You see that one thing and you want to argue about that. I haven't heard or seen you in years. You want to argue about that. Like that type of stuff, it's just, I don't, I just don't like letting that type of stuff slide. I'm like, hey, yo, like talk to me on a regular basis. So it's like, at least then you can kind of know what my sense of humor is. So it's like, oh, okay. Like, you know me, you know, the type of jokes that I crack, you know, the type of things I share. And it ain't even my first time sharing stuff like that. So I'm like, I just don't under, I, I really just don't understand it. You know, it's like when I, when I overall share a post, I'm like, I'm not doing, I'm not sharing this post to offend you. I'm literally sharing this post to just, you know, for jokes, for comedy reasons. And my thing is, it's like, it ain't no different when people with their like political views. I've seen people in their political views where they've came out, friends of mine, friends of mine, where they've came out and said that they support Trump. And I'm like, bruh, how though? But it ain't something where I'm like, if I'm going to message, and that's the thing. There's, there's like, uh, cause I, you know, I, I know like, you know, the differences between me and my friends where I'm like, they can make a post about how they support Trump, care less about it. They make a post talking about like, oh, I'm feeling down. I'm feeling sad and depressed. I message them and I ask them, Hey, like, how's life treating you? Like what's going on? Like I all my thing is like all that political stuff, the dark humor, all of that. I'm pushing all of that aside. I don't care what jokes they're cracking. I don't care what president they're um you know voting for or whatever. But I'm like, at the end of the day, to me, I'm like to keep if to keep friends you know around you, check up on them. Don't argue with them about some jokes that they're sharing. It's like literally a post that I didn't even create. It wasn't even a post that I created. It was created by somebody else. I shared it. So I'm like, comment on their post talking about that. Don't come at me. I'm like, I'm just sharing it for laughs. Like, yeah, but you can't share stuff like that, I guess, nowadays. And so, yeah, I'm like, my thing is, is, you know, look, if you're going to get too offended about things like that's why I, I tell people, I'm like, look. When you're on the internet, when you're on um, just overall like social media or anywhere, you got to have thick skin. You can't be uh, on the internet like, because imagine, my thing is like, imagine me being who I am today. The person where I'm reacting to all these different videos, uh, doing all these different, like doing all this different type of content, right? Let's say if I were to watch uh, McNasty's videos and I'm doing reaction videos, like, you know, not overall, like, like talking on like how good he is at the game or how good his editing is or anything else. I'm only talking about like the jokes that they will crack. And I'm just like, oh, those jokes are too dark. Like, do you know how much of a mood killer that that would be like in the video and stuff? Like, it's that type of stuff where I'm like, no, you got to have thick skin when watching videos, when watching, because my thing is like, it wouldn't be no different if that was in a movie. It wouldn't be no different if it was like your favorite musician or favorite actor. Like, you know, you got it regardless of who it is. You got to have thick skin. You can't let stuff get you too offended and too upset. Now your friends is looking at you all like, oh, well, they're, they're the offended friends. So I'm like, I can't share and do certain things on the internet anymore because I know that they're going to get offended. Like that, and this happened like maybe a couple of days ago where I had shared this post and offended them. Like, uh, like message, where they, they didn't message me, but they commented on the post like early in the morning. And I'm like, I, what? I'm I'm looking at the post and I was just I was so tired and so confused. I was cause I think I I also on top of that that um same night I stayed up till like well it was like that morning but I stayed up I think it was up until like three four a.m. recording videos. So when I woke up it was like maybe nine something and I just I look I check my phone that's what I usually do and um, yeah I seen that and I was just like. I right, you know what? Let me just go ahead and take this post down. I'm not even gonna respond because last time I responded, next thing you know, I had other I had like other friends because I had started getting mad. I remember the first time where this like me and this friend we got into it. I started getting angry because I'm like, hey yo, like I went it's been a whole year of this pandemic and I've literally have been through every emotion possible. Depression, anger, happiness, like I've talked about all these different things. 
you decide to talk on this one thing and then it leads into an argument. Now I got all my other friends, they looking at me like, oh, you're getting angry. You're getting up like, you know, you just need to relax. And so I'm like, when when that had happened, I was like, yeah, I, I remember that had me upset the whole day. And it's stuff like that where I'm like, look, if you're not going to like check up on me or message me, see how I'm doing and all. Because I'm like, look, the jokes, all of the stuff that, you know, either I support or don't support. And I'm not saying that I don't support the LGBTQ community. I My thing is like anybody like I've looked. I've had to work around people that, you know, that that's a part of that community. I've had to, you know, I'm friends with people. I went to school with people that's a part of that community. Most likely there's fans of mine um, on YouTube that's uh, a part of that community. I'm not going to share or say or do any. My thing is, is like, I will, because I just, my thing is, is like, I laugh about like, so with jokes like um regarding like black people, right? I laugh about jokes like that. And but the at the end of the day, like the back not not background story, but the like meaning behind me laughing at like a joke about black people is that I find it, you know, I find it funny. You know, it's something where I'm all like, I've seen that before. I find it funny. I'm not gonna be all offended or rude, like, you know, not well not rude, but I'm not gonna be that person where I'm like, oh, I gotta call you out on this or I gotta be all upset and angry and mad and all that crap. But it's like it doesn't matter. Because my thing is, like, there's far more worse things out there going on. Like, we really going to talk about um the LGBTQ community and, what, a joke that's being shared about them versus there's people a part of the... L- I heard the one uh story where it was, like, a, um I think it was a transgender uh, woman was attacked on the uh, bus for something. Like, literally, for being a transgender woman. There's so many stories out there that exist like that. Like, where are you when them stories are being posted? Where are you when them stories are being... Like, that's why I'm like, you can't... And then it's like, you're going to bring up, like, black history. I'm like, look, the black history that runs through my veins ain't got nothing to do with the LGBTQ community, okay? There might be some similarities, but at the end of the day, two different um things. Two different things. So that's why I'm like, yeah, it's like stuff like that where I'm like, please... I, it's just the next time I'm just, I'm just hoping and praying. I'm like, cause I'm, I just, at this point, I just don't know what, like what to share on social media anymore. Like, you know, usually I'm like, I'm sharing all a bunch of different things, but I'm like, I just don't even know what to share anymore. I'm like, I feel like I'm going to share something about sports. I'm like, oh, LeBron James flopped. And like somebody going to come like, oh, well, LeBron, like getting mad about it. And I'm like, man, it's just, it's stuff like that where I'm like, I don't want to, because these are like people that I'm like, I'm cool with. These are people that I've like, I've known them for some time and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to tell them I'm like, hey, unfriend me if you don't like my stuff. But I'm like, dang, like, talk to me. Like, let me, but it's like, when you're coming at me, like, mad about some stuff, I'm like, fam, look, you got to understand, there's far more worse things. I, I tell people that all the time. There are far more worse things going on in this world. Like, you're getting offended. That's what I'm like. That's why it's like stuff like with YouTube when people is getting mad at me about uh, reaction videos. And I'm all like, fam, there's far more worse videos out there on the internet. But you're pointing, you're just, you're like just soloing my videos or my posts out so you could just talk on that. I'm like, there's far more worse stuff going on. Like, read some articles. Read some stories. Go like, I'm pretty sure there's websites you can go to to read a person's story. Where they talk on like how they were attacked or how they were verbally abused or whatever. How people don't accept them. You honestly think a joke or a meme or whatever is going to like that's that's going to be, you know, that's the home run. Like That's it. Like that's the final straw. Like, you know, no. My thing is, is like, look. To compare, if somebody calls me the N-word in a YouTube video, right? So I guess to like put myself to like show the similarities in this situation. Somebody calls me the N-word on YouTube. I would rather deal with that than to be in an Emmett Till situation. Where I'm being snatched out my house, beaten, you know, to death. And then like all these other crazy things that happen to Emmett Till. I would rather get called the N-word than to be in George Floyd's situation where I literally have a knee going across my neck for like, what, eight minutes and stuff to the point where I can't even breathe. And now they're trying to defend their actions on what they did to me. I would rather get called the N-word on a YouTube video or anywhere than to be in Trayvon Martin's situation where he was literally a kid just walking home and he had this man track him down, fight him, 
And then when he decided to fight back, when Trayvon Martin decided to fight back, the man pulls a gun out and shoots and kills him. Like, you can't compare some internet stuff to what actually be going on in the world. Do you think, at the end of the day, what would you think that person would rather deal with? Like, talking to just anybody that's listening, to the friends, family, whoever. At the end of the day, who do you, what do you think Trayvon Martin would rather be dealing with? Being called the N-word today? On the internet? Or fighting for his life back in, what, 2012? I think that's when that situation had went down. That man would still be alive today. At the end of the day, what? He's just getting some racist comments on the internet. But I'm saying like that, he's not even here with us. He didn't even get to experience a whole life. Man ain't got to, he didn't even get a chance to get married, have kids, none of that. So that's why I'm like, yeah, when people, when they try to like get on me about jokes and memes that I share online, I'm like, you got to understand it's jokes, it's memes, it's the internet. Like, I'm not, you know, going up to people, like, in the LGBTQ community telling them, oh, you got to live this lifestyle. You got to live, you got to do this. You got to do that. I don't care. None of that stuff matters to me. Live your life. Do what you want to do. If you want to be called a certain pronoun or you want to dress a certain way or you just want to live a life that's different than your average person, go right ahead. You don't need no approval through me. What, like, honestly, like, do you think that you really need approval through me to be able to live the life that you want to live? That is your life. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just another random person in the world. So at the end of the day, like, none of that stuff matters. Memes, jokes, none of that. The stuff that really, the stuff that be, ends up becoming a news story in the middle of the night, okay? Or, or a friend or a family member is talking on their experience somewhere. That's the real stuff. That's the stuff that we need to be worried about. That's the stuff that we need to be talking about. But, and I think, I remember I said that probably before. I was just like, the last time I got into it with this person. And, um, yeah, I'm all like, you know, like, hey, yo, there's like real things that's like going on in the world. Like, I, I think that's what it was. It was about like the the whole situation with the uh, skunk being like kicked out of Space Jam from, or the, you know, for Looney Tunes and stuff. And I'm like, fam, there's like far more worse things going on in the world. I'm like kicking a skunk off of Space Jam. That's like, what? The, like, out of like the, out of just the 1,000, not even that, out of the like millions, okay, of stories of, you know, men, women, kids, freaking whoever, you know, being sexually assaulted or abused or whatever, you know, like where they're, you know, that's like real life stuff. Do you think at the end of the day, like what would they rather be dealing with? Watching that skunk on Looney Tunes or actually dealing with some stuff like that in real life? You know, like I'm just, I'm saying like, you know, people, they just get, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably people try to cancel me for some stuff like this, but am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? Like, that's why I'm just, that's why I'm curious on. Because I'm like, at, at the end of the day, look, you know, like, there's stuff that goes on in this world that we should talk about that, you know, requires way more attention than some meme online. Because I'm like, fam, there's memes out there being shared about black people. And it's probably amongst, like, like racist communities and friends and all that crap. And so it's, yeah, it's, you know, at the end of the day, the end of the day, I'm all like, hey, yo, look, if I've offended anybody, I'm like, I don't want to be that person to tell you like, hey, well then unfriend me, unfollow me. But I'm not going to be like, oh, well, I got to um, stop having the sense of humor that I have and stuff like, oh, I can't laugh at certain things or I can't share certain things because it offends you. So now, like, every time when I see a joke, I got to be like, oh, that offends my friends. I can't laugh at it. Like, a person shouldn't have to live life like that. Uh, nobody should have to live life like that. I'm not saying that everything in the world should be found funny and everything in the world should become a meme or a joke online. Because I'm saying there's stuff out there that goes down where I'm all like, hey, yo, that's messed up. That's sad. You know, I'm like, and then it's like, we have going to talk just like strictly on internet stuff. I'm like, man... If this post compared to the post and the things that I've seen, I've legit seen people getting killed online. I've seen animals get killed online. Like, what other things have I seen that was crazy and stuff? Like, yeah, I've seen some of the most craziest, craziest stuff. 
And I'm like, this meme, like at the end of the day, I will I see that meme a hundred times over and over again than to see one video of a person getting killed. Like, you know, viewer discretion is advised. Like, what I'm about to mention might be a little bit too shocking to some people. Well, speaking of shocking, like, yeah, there's the shock videos. I was talking about that um uh yesterday in one of my friend's streams, how there's, like, certain shock, like, two girls, one cup, two guys, one horse, one man, one jar, like, all those crazy videos and stuff. But to, like, you know, besides those videos, people, videos of people getting killed. Like, I seen one video of a man um getting his head chopped off with a chainsaw. Two. Two men. Two men. Like, that's that's some stuff that you shouldn't see. What else? I seen one woman, there was a video of a woman getting stabbed to death, and that's what I did. I told people, I'm like, look, stop sharing stuff like that, because I don't like it. If you keep, if you keep, if you continue on sharing stuff, I give people one warning, and I'm like, look, okay? Don't share stuff like that. If I see it again, I'm unfriending you. And if you're all like, oh, how come you unfriended me? I'm like, you be sharing videos of people getting killed. So I'm like, I can't, I don't want to watch videos like that. I don't want to look at stuff like that. And me, I'm like, no, nah, it's just crazy. So, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm like, look, it's like, you know, and even then I'm like, you know, I talk on that stuff where I'm all like, hey, it's messed up and things. It's crazy that that be uh, like, you know, happening and stuff, but like, at the end of the day, it's kind of like comparing it to, like, a movie or a TV show. It's like, you know, you ain't gonna watch no movie or a TV show, like, oh, a person getting killed. Like, that that traumatizes me, because I've seen... Vi like, imagine... My thing is, like, imagine where I'm... We're, like, we're in the movie theaters, right? We're in the movie theaters. We're watching some, like, movie where somebody gets killed in the movie. And I stand up, and I'm saying, I don't want to watch this movie, because I've seen a person get uh, killed in the, um in a video on facebook so therefore we we gotta go movie just started movie you you just sat down you waited for all the previews to end so you can eat your food and your food is like semi-cold but it's like you you still eating it and enjoying it and stuff but i i like first few seconds in the movie it shows somebody gets killed and i'm like nope can't watch this movie i'm like show somebody getting killed so i seen a video on facebook and i'm like and i'm traumatized now i'm triggered and i'm like i can't watch you understand how frustrating that be where it's like, now it's like, you can't even watch, like, we gotta watch, like, comedy movies or something. Even in comedy movies, people be getting killed and dying in there and stuff. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's like, it's the, that's the point that I'm trying to prove. You know, it's like, there's the real things that we should be talking about. I'm not gonna be like, oh, we can't watch Walking Dead because it promotes killing people. Like, at the, like, really? Like, if this is a TV show that you're a fan of, you've been watching this show for years, and then I step in place and be like, oh, you shouldn't be watching that show because it promotes people getting killed. You look at me like I'm crazy. So that's, I'm like, that's the point that I'm trying to prove. But I'm like, look, there's like, you know, there's far more worse things that we should be talking on and worried about. Memes and jokes, that ain't nothing compared to what's really going on in the world. So... I'm like, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm like, people that done died, you know, became sacrifices and uh, stuff that, you know, that you find offensive when, within these memes and jokes, they became sacrifices to this stuff. There's people in black history and LGBTQ um, history that became sacrifices for the community that they're a part of or for the history that they're a part of. So I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, what? which is worse, sharing a meme or, you know, having to be that sacrifice? Because I would not want to be a sacrifice. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want um, to, like, you know, I mean, overall, like, my thing is, is like, I shouldn't have to die for my people or to die for a cause. The cause should just happen. It should just be something that a person thinks about where it's like, oh, well, you know, Black lives actually do matter. LGBTQ lives, they actually do matter. It shouldn't have to be, oh, uh, um, a transgender woman gets beaten on the bus or a black man gets shot and killed in the streets in order for a person to change. A person should just think of that stuff and be like, oh, man, that's really messed up. So I'm like, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm like, hey, yo, look, there's, I'm like, there's, there's other things to be uh, worried about in life. I'm like, and memes and jokes ain't one of them. So, but anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, follow me on uh, Twitter, TikTok. Well, make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow, subscribe if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 32 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch at TMOSBOSS. 
like my page on Facebook at T Mozboss fan page. Um, my Seat Geek and Rogue Energy promo codes is T Mozboss. If you use those to get you either some uh like Rogue Energy drinks or a cup or some powder, um, yeah, you can uh get a discounted price. And same with Seat Geek, use my promo code T Mozboss. And uh, yeah, you get your first purchase um at a discount price, I believe, of twenty dollars. So uh, yeah. Um, and that being said, talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and/or listening, and peace.